Hello, with all the regal splendor, we warmly welcome you to the Royal Family News Channel. Now, let's get to the video. Meghan Markle, the descendant of William the Conqueror. Indy McTaggart from The Telegraph announces that the Prince of Wales captivates spectators upon his arrival in Singapore for the Earthshot Prize. Prince William, aged 41, expressed his aspiration for the Earthshot Awards to have a positive impact on the climate crisis within the area. The Prince of Wales, next in line for the throne, was seen exploring Singapore, engaging in casual interactions and taking selfies, portraying a sense of camaraderie and receiving a delightful reception. What can be concluded from this information? According to the typical classifications I use, William is considered average. This indicates that he displays emotional empathy towards a select few individuals in his immediate vicinity, while his emotional empathy towards others he interacts with is limited. His motivation does not stem from a desire to manipulate or dominate others. He does not have the motivation to seek fuel, personality traits, or any secondary advantages. While he possesses manipulative tendencies, manipulation is not his inherent nature. On the contrary, he interacts with individuals who possess both empathic and narcissistic qualities. To elucidate, concerning his family, he displays affection and ensures their safety. However, when it came to unfamiliar individuals, he did not feel obligated to expend the same amount of effort as he did for his own kin. This indicates that he lacks any attraction towards narcissistic individuals, which in turn makes it harder for him to become entangled with them. Consequently, without a shadow of a doubt, when his spouse attempted to trap him, either establishing authority over him as a brother-in-law or potentially taking it a step further by attempting to establish an intimate relationship, he was not present. He was not swayed because he had a clear head and was not influenced by emotions, unlike his brother. The presence of the Prince of Wales, who represents the missed opportunity, coupled with being married to the person one strongly opposes, creates a challenging situation for this individual's wife, as any mention or coverage involving them causes emotional harm. In general, it may seem unnecessary to become overly concerned about the actions of other members of the royal family. After all, their choices may not have a significant impact. However, the narcissist perceives it differently. This is an effective way for the narcissist to be reminded that they are not the main focus. When, as expected based on their narcissistic tendencies, they should be. Therefore, Prince William is being greeted with enthusiastic applause and wide smiles from the crowd. In the realm of this one's wife, one should show support and joy towards her. The absence of this happening deeply hurts her. It serves as a reminder of one's vulnerability, fragility, and insignificance. Consequently, she absolutely detests hearing about his achievements and popularity in other places. Hence, her self-obsession compels her to take action in order to eliminate the control risk presented by William's initiatives with Earthshot. She lacks the ability to captivate him and the crowds focus solely on herself through direct interaction with him. He would probably decline that proposal, considering the significant investment of time and resources required, not to mention that her self-centeredness would prevent her from pursuing that path. Naturally, she has the option to voice her grievances to Harry. Oh, behold him. Indeed, he is set to assume the role of a monarch. Doesn't he believe he's exceptional? However, Harry might not always approve of this, as despite his actions, he may still possess a certain level of loyalty and admiration. In certain cases, he might acknowledge a decrease in his emotional empathy towards his older brother due to his wife's constant criticism. It is highly probable that this individual's wife's narcissism will drive her to seek attention for herself, diverting the focus away from William. Therefore, it became evident as she walked past him, exuding a captivating Las Vegas aura towards me. Furthermore, anticipate a continuation of similar patterns throughout the week. This could potentially involve more public relations articles, 
or perhaps capturing a casual moment of her buying cheese, or returning from the restroom. Alternatively, there could be a fabricated event that she must participate in, where she inexplicably appears distributing old bread, or a similar item. However, her excessive self-love will likely push her towards taking action, as the Prince of Wales is succeeding greatly in Singapore. Due to the abundance of gifts, which in the eyes of a narcissist represent a valuable source of admiration, an assistant had to intervene and offer assistance. Upon his arrival in Singapore for the Earthshot Prize ceremony, the Prince of Wales was met with a thunderous round of enthusiastic applause. If Prince William were a narcissist, there would be an ample amount of fuel supplied by numerous secondary sources, all closely connected. A multitude of union flags, bound to please a narcissist, fluttered amidst the outstretched arms of loyal supporters eagerly awaiting the prince at duel in Changi Airport. This warm reception followed his arrival from London on a lengthy 13-hour commercial flight. Big Willie Stiley does not have access to a private jet. He is already striking blows against this person's spouse. However, that is not his intention. He effectively shows his genuine concern for the environment, which sets him apart from slow and hose hypocrisy. Hank and Skank are two individuals. Additionally, the presence of gift-giving, union flag-waving, and enthusiastic applause further enhances his popularity and emphasizes the stark contrast faced by Harry's wife in the current situation. On Tuesday, the 2023 Earthshot Prize Awards commenced with the striking emergence of the HSBC Rain Vortex, an enormous indoor waterfall, illuminated in green color, gracefully descending from the roof. With an abundance of vibrant green plants and numerous water-splashed supporters, the airport was filled with an electrifying atmosphere, as the prince paid his second visit to the Southeast Asian nation. The prince's suit jacket was filled with a variety of thoughtful presents, such as knitted soldier toys, eco-friendly color stencils, a lovingly crafted yellow helicopter, and a portrait of the future king skillfully painted by a talented seven-year-old girl. Have you ever witnessed a time when this person's spouse has been lavished with such abundant gifts? No, you have not. As he stood on the balcony, overseeing the spectacular rain vortex waterfall, the overwhelming cheers drowned out his conversation with the state official accompanying him. Smart paraphrase, with a wave to the crowd of Singaporeans eagerly awaiting his appearance, the 40-meter water feature, known as the world's biggest indoor waterfall, was grandly activated. The moment was amplified by the powerful background music that coincided with his entrance. Numerous spectators had the opportunity to witness firsthand as the prince interacted extensively with the crowds, engaging in conversations, taking selfies, and even allowing an adorable eight-month-old baby to fondly suck on his finger. The family unexpectedly found themselves in Singapore for three days during their journey from New Caledonia to France when they received the news of baby Albane Costa's arrival. We only arrived here to witness the duel, having been informed of Prince William's anticipated presence. Mother Melanie expressed her delight by remarking that it was truly unexpected. The prince light-heartedly teased a patient group that had patiently waited for him, some of whom had been there for hours. Have you ever heard of anyone waiting for hours just to catch a glimpse of this individual spouse? Highly unlikely. As mentioned in a previous video, this individual's wife received a frosty welcome during her recent visit to New York. In stark contrast to Prince William's warm reception. After 11 years, the prince expressed his delight at returning to Singapore for this year's Earthshot Prize ceremony, stating that it feels wonderful to be back. Singapore has an ambitious goal of becoming a trailblazer in environmental innovation, providing a benchmark for others to emulate. I express my gratitude towards the people of Singapore for their warm hospitality throughout our visit this week. As we honor the finalists of this year's Earthshot Prize, let their exceptional efforts serve as a source of motivation for us all. In 2012, he had accompanied his wife, who was then known as the Duchess of Cambridge, on a trip to the country to celebrate the late Queen's Diamond Jubilee. 
Following suggestions from Kensington Palace, the Prince arrived at the third annual Earthshot Prize Awards on Sunday, indicating the possibility of holding the prestigious green carpet ceremony in Asia once more. Prior to his arrival, Hannah Jones, the chief executive of Earthshot, expressed her excitement about the inaugural Earthshot Prize in Asia, hinting that there may be more to come in the future. According to a spokesperson at Kensington Palace, it is the Prince's strong intention for the Earth Shot Prize to be hosted in different countries annually. His goal for the week is to not only motivate individuals in Singapore, but also globally. The Prince's visit was celebrated with the symbolic planting of a traditional Tembusi tree, which he had the opportunity to admire while exploring the nature-inspired green oasis within Singapore's airport. The recent planting of the tree serves as a symbolic tribute to the journey, as it is a prominent indigenous species in Singapore and also holds significance in the country's currency. In honor of the late Queen's visit to Singapore in 1972, this unique tree species was carefully selected, paying tribute to the Tembusu sapling she planted at Jurong Hill. In an effort to extend our inspiration beyond Singapore, the entire region will be captivated by the prestigious Earthshot Prize as stated by the Kensington Palace representative. The visit of Earthshot and United for Wildlife to Singapore this week reflects the Prince's commitment to highlighting sustainable achievements in the area and backing inventive approaches to address our planet's most significant challenges. The tomorrow is the day of the Earthshot Prize. The responsibility of hosting has been assigned to Hannah Waddingham. Celebrities such as Kate Blanchard, Lana Condor, Robert Irwin, and Nomzamo Mbatha will be among the presenters who will announce the winners. Bastille and Juan Replebic will be participating in an event alongside the Singaporean Choral Society. This event is a much grander celebration than any previous ones orchestrated by this individual spouse, receiving positive reception and extensive media coverage. No one is making fun of William's attire or mocking his words. No one is criticizing his choice of transportation. This showcases the contrasting behavior between him as an ordinary individual and his wife, who falls within the category of a moderately narcissistic person. In addition, it is evident that he receives more positive reactions than her and her popularity is on the decline. Consequently, any action she takes is consistently met with a significant amount of skepticism. That's it for the video. Please share your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to like and share with those interested. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button to stay updated with our latest content. Thanks for joining us, have a great day, and stay tuned for upcoming videos.